you guys have been asking me for this. You have wanted it for so long. So today I'm gonna make a Harry Potter themed butterbeer mega cake. I am the cake wizard, Yolanda Kakeldorf, and this is how to cake it. Bing! And it's a good thing Sasha's here because I actually don't know anything about Harry Potter. Neither do I. So, here in my, where do wizards live? <laughs> Sasha, how is it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought it was about imagination. <laughs> I'm gonna make caramel cobwebs. What you need to do is pour your water into your pot and then pour your sugar directly on top of your water. Now put the pot on medium high heat and basically wait. I don't think wizards would wait. I mean, what is a wand for? Bing! You wanna make sure to keep this on a medium heat to stop it from burning, but as soon as it's a nice, deep amber, evenly distributed, you wanna take your pot off the heat and put it directly into a bath of cold water. That's wizardy. And this is just to stop the sugar from cooking instantly because it's so hot, even if you take it off the stove, it will just keep cooking. It's a really good thing I'm not a muggle because I'm a wizard with a wand, so I just sped this right up. Just drizzle the caramel in spirals and then also back and forth through the spiral. I'm gonna make four or five. After you're done making your caramel cobwebs, just set them aside at room temperature until they harden completely. I made a six pound portion of my favorite vanilla cake and baked it in two eight inch round pans. And now I'm gonna cut this cake into two equal layers. Uh, I'm just gonna speed through this second cake. Bing! I have a batch of my Italian meringue buttercream here and a batch of my butterscotch fudge sauce. And I'm gonna mix these two together in my mixer to layer inside of our cake. You can get both these recipes at howtocakeit.com. I'll put links below. I'm going to add cream soda to my simple syrup. I'm gonna add half the amount to my simple syrup. Now just give Sir Squeeze a lot a gentle shake. So you're okay, right? Okay. If you want your own Sir Squeeze a lot, he is on sale 10% off from March 28th till April 4th, but only for VIPs. If you want in on this VIP, just head over to howtocakeit.com, find the word VIP, and click on it to sign up. You'll get all of my YouTube videos the day before they're released on YouTube. Good job, sir. My cake is ready to assemble. I've got nut brittle, toffee, butterscotch chips, and my What's his name again? Birdie Bots. Birdie Bots, every flavor beans. But not every but flavor. <laughs> without every flavor. I picked out all the nasty ones. Birdie Bots, every flavor beans, roulette. Pick a jelly bean and put it in your mouth before you look at it. You gotta guess the flavor. Uh, oh no! <laughs> I don't know. What did I have? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna begin by spreading a thin layer of butterscotch buttercream. I need a caramel cobweb. Oh my gosh. This is super cool. Now I'm gonna put a really thin layer of buttercream just because I wanna help my nut brittle stick. Now it's time for one more cake layer. In this layer, I'm gonna put the Birdie Bots, Every Flavor Beans, and my Toffee Bits. Last stop, butterscotch chips. I'm gonna add my last layer of cake and then crumple and chip. If any of your goodies are poking out of the sides, just poke them back in as you crumb coat. You're a wizard, you can do it. Before I ice my cake with the rest of my butterscotch buttercream, I'm going to use a little ivory food coloring to dye it a deeper, richer butter beer color. You know that butter beer color, right? Wizards, because you drink it every morning, right? Yolanda Kakeldorf's Butter Beer Butterscotch Buttercream. <laughs> I'm just gonna ice it as smoothly as I can. I'm gonna ice like a wizard. When I ice a cake, I like to add a lot of buttercream to the sides and then use my spatula all the way around and smooth it out while turning my Lazy Susan. 
And then all of the excess buttercream that collects at the top edge, I like to smooth by using the flat end of my spatula and pulling it into the center of the top of the cake. Back in the fridge to chill. Yolanda Kekeldorf is just going to use her magic wand to move her butterbeer mega cake to this gorgeous black stem. Because magic is real, Yolanda. It absolutely is. <clears throat> Perfect. Time to decorate. To top off my butterbeer mega cake, I have made some seven minute frosting that I think will be the perfect butterbeer foam on top of this cake. You do need to make this frosting right before you need to use it. Who are these frogs again, Sasha? Uh, chocolate frogs. Oh, I could have guessed that. <laughs> There's a chocolate frog in my beer. Guys, I wanted to use these jelly slugs. I know they're Harry's favorite, are they? <laughs> he likes them. But now I feel like they're too bright. They're too bright for this cake. I have something else in mind. How about we make some fizzing, whizzing bees. Whizzing? No. Whiz bees. Some fizzing whiz bees. I have these bee molds, which I bought online. There'll be a link in the description below. I have pop rocks. I have some lollipop sticks. And then I have just a disposable piping bag and some melted melt chocolate candy melts. And now pipe your chocolate into the bottom of the mold in an even layer, but don't fill it up. Fill it like halfway. You wanna insert your candy sticks and then just sprinkle on some pop rocks. Oh, this is what makes them fizzing. And then you use the rest of your chocolate to fill up the mold. And you don't wanna go too high over uh, the top at all. And once they're full, you just wanna bang out the mold and this helps all the air come up and out and also flattens the chocolate. Put them aside to dry at room temperature until they're completely set and then you can flip them over and pop them out. Look at them, they're fizzing. Whoa. But not fizzing. <laughs> I have my bowl of broken up sugar shards right here, and then I have some choice pieces laid out to place on the cake. I did place the frogs on first because they need to stick to the buttercream, and I was worried that if I put the sugar first, these frogs would have nowhere to live. And they're adorable. time to announce my It Takes Two contest. If every one of you out there who is subscribed got one more person to subscribe, we would hit two million before my birthday on July 21st, and that would be amazing. So tag someone you know who isn't subscribed, and you and that person could win matching Cake Wizard t-shirts. Oh, crack a laugh. Crack ing Oh boy. Oh, the, the nut brittle. <laughs> I'm like, did I put this inside? Here I go. Don't forget guys, this is a limited edition cake tea. You can get one at howtocakeit.com or you could win it by playing It Takes Two. Tag someone. Me and my cake slice are leaving. Bye. God, we have a Harry Potter expert on staff. You know? What are the chances? I know, they're very rare. <laughs> I mean, we hardly get requests for anything Harry Potter. Guys, this is no... Sorry, oh. sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Jocelyn. Is our show interrupting your messages? <laughs> Guys, I'm really sad that this is the last week of Cake It to the Minute. Thank you all for playing. And if you wanna see us do it again, let us know, leave a comment below. This week's winners all guess the exact right time it took me to make my Easter egg cakes last week. They are Rachel Puckeridge, Marantha Ashley, Madeline Fairbairn, Veronica Hernandez, Vanya Elan, Missy Arneson and Amira Yasmin, you all guessed eight hours and 22 minutes. Congratulations, thank you so much for playing. I love you all. And I hope I said your names right. I really wish that somebody named John Smith 
would play Cake It to the Minute and get the right answer. This is our this final is performance. Last. This is the encore. This is it. <clears throat> Ready? One, two, three. Cake It! Oh, we're, sorry, we're talking on different notes. <laughs> <clears throat> it's because we're emotional. Yeah, you're right. Cake It! To the minute. This is the end of the concert. The lights are going out. I know you're waiting in your seat. You're like, maybe, maybe they're. Not nice. one more time. <laughs> oh, camera lights. We tried. <laughs> we tried.